Hello, MavMind Collective, and welcome to another episode of the Hypno Sales Show. Today, we're going to be talking about how to spot someone's right side. All right, now you're probably saying, Maverick, what's a right side? Well, a right side is the side to your right, and this is your left side. I'm just kidding. It's it. I mean, it's true. This is the right side. This is the left side, but it's also right side and wrong side. So believe it or not, all of us have a preference to which side someone is standing on when we're talking with them, especially in a crowd. Now, if you're talking one on one with someone, typically we, if we're comfortable with a person, we'll be we'll be just standing directly in front of them and talking to them. But if we're in a crowd in a social setting, like imagine you're talking with some pro new prospects or clients or you're at a conference and you have a booth and people are new prospects are coming up to the booth asking you about your product or service and you're standing around the booth talking. Typically, all of us have a right side that we prefer people on and a wrong side that we don't want people standing on when we're talking to them. If we're, if we're trying to get to know them, if we're comfortable with them, and think of it as a comfortable side and an uncomfortable side, right? The right side I want you on, the wrong side I don't want you on. Okay, think of it like that in a nutshell. It's basically a side, what I call a side preference. What's their preferred side they want you on when they're talking to you in that social setting? And again, this is all subconscious. It's like a body language indicator. And we all have it. And if you're, if you're, you know, if you're able to really spot it in someone and be able to see it, you'll be able to use it to your advantage in your communication with them. You can tailor your communication to be congruent and send the right kind of message because you can uh, use that right side or that wrong side to deliver the message, okay? Because it's, it's really like a comfort indicator. They're comfortable with you on one side, they're uncomfortable with you on the other side, and you can choose accordingly based on the message you want to give. So, um, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause for a moment and before I talk about how to choose and what you would choose and why you would choose uh, that side by sharing a story with you. I was at a conference. I was in doing booth. I was it was like a booth duty. I was on duty. It was very quiet. There was hardly anyone around. Eventually, somebody came up and actually was interested in talking to me about about my product, like we had in the booth. And they approached me and they started talking to me. And I instantly could tell that their right side was the side that they preferred me on. That was their comfort level was on the right side. That was their correct side, the comfortable side, because they immediately came up to me and they started talking to me like this. They immediately turned and they said, yeah, so, and they turned their belly button away from me, right? Remember the belly button rule? I've talked about it in other videos, right? Where they kind of, in a crowd, they kind of don't want to face their belly button directly towards you, but kind of at an angle, like a, like almost like making an X with your belly button. They want you talking this way, facing this way, they're facing this way, but they're kind of, but this person just started talking over the shoulder and they kind of really did extreme and they were just like talking at an angle like this over their right side. Now I could tell right away that was their comfort level because they immediately did that, okay? Once I knew that, I started moving myself and positioning myself to their other side, to the wrong side, their left side, which was their wrong side, their uncomfortable side. And I would start started talking to them about my product and service or whatever from that angle on their wrong side. And as they were talking to me, they slowly were listening to me and talking to me. They slowly, very subtly turned back around and put me to their right again. They put me on their right side again. And then I did it again. I moved over very subtly to the other side and very subtly without them even being consciously aware of it. It was all subconscious. They turned towards me like this. So as you can imagine, within about five to eight minutes, I had had this person went in a complete circle. I had them turn and rotate once around, all the way around to where I was back in the booth again. Because eventually, about halfway through, I was on the other side of the booth and they were in the booth. They were continually turning towards me and I kept moving to the left side. They kept putting me on the right side. And eventually I turned them all the way around. Because I wanted to prove that this is such a significant uh, indicator of their comfort that I could, I wanted to see if I could turn someone completely around without them knowing it, and I did. And, I, and I've done it many times since. In fact, most of the times when I'm, in, when I'm in these settings like this where I know we're gonna talk for a while, I usually do that just to make sure I establish the right 
which side is the right side or the comfortable side because I want to remember that next time I talk with them I can choose accordingly. So let me get back to why I have choose accordingly on here because if I want to deliver a message and I want it to be comfortable to them, I'm going to make sure I'm always on the, their correct side or their comfortable side when I share the message. And if, by the, on the other hand, I want to make something uncomfortable for them, I make sure I get on the wrong side to deliver the message. Okay, I'm going to say that again. If I want to deliver a comfortable message to them and I want them to easily take it in and really accept it, I'm going to get on their comfortable side or their right side, the correct side for them. But if I want to, if I want to make them slightly uncomfortable, I want to deliver a message that I want them to feel uncomfortable about, I'm going to get on the wrong side. I'm going to get on the other side and make sure I deliver it to them. And I'll switch back and forth. It's comforting message, uncomfortable message. Comfortable message again, uncomfortable. So I'll switch back and forth once I establish which is their comfortable side and uncomfortable side. And I'll deliver it. And so you're probably asking, what, what, what would be an uncomfortable message? Well, maybe if I'm talking about a competitor. If I'm talking about a competitor that I know they're looking at, I'll make sure I get on the wrong side and tell them about the competitor and what I know about the competitor and what I think their experience could be based on the other customers I've worked with. You, you may experience this type of experience, Mr. Prospect, and I'm going to do it on the, on the incorrect, uncomfortable side, the wrong side. And then I'll get back on the right side and say, but with our product, you're going to experience this great, it's going to be a great, wonderful experience. And then I'll tell them about our product when I'm on the comfortable side. So that's just an example of being able to use which side is comfortable or uncomfortable accordingly uh, in order to get the message across. Um, and one other example I'll share is if you have someone that reports to you or someone on your team even, that, but you're in charge, but they're like on a project team or a task team, or they're supporting you in your uh, in some sales cycle or whatever, uh, you can also figure out with your peers, figure out from the peers you're working with that are supporting you, which is the correct side or incorrect side, the comfortable or uncomfortable side, and then deliver the critique you want to make them feel comfortable with the critique you're giving them or get on the wrong side and deliver it and really make it sting, really make it count. Like you didn't do this well, you don't need to do this. I don't want you to do this anymore. And then get on the other side and say, but, I'm, but I know you can do better. I know you will improve and you're, you're taking what I'm saying constructively, right? You know what I'm saying is, I just want you to get better at what you're doing. But, and then they get on the wrong side and say, but you really need to stop doing that in meetings or whatever. So you can use the left and the right, right, wrong side, <laughs> whatever it is for them accordingly to get your message subconsciously into their subconscious um, uh, every single time without them really even knowing it just by choosing the side that you're on when you deliver the message. Thank you for watching. I know you find value in these videos now, didn't you? And if you like me are in a customer facing role, I'm wondering if you want to watch another video now designed to help you get better at what you do every day or not. You don't have to watch another video if you don't want to.